other day, some clients asked me what should be included in a real estate investor's estate plan. I'm Cynthia Meyer. I'm a real estate investor and financial planner who founded Real Life Planning to mentor a new generation of real estate investors. Estate planning is the part of financial planning that a lot of people resist doing the most. There are three general categories that are included in the estate planning process. The first is titling and beneficiaries, making sure that you're updating regularly how things have changed in terms of properties you've bought or sold and in terms of your personal situation and making sure everything is aligned. The second are the five basic estate planning documents. This applies to everybody, by the way, not just real estate investors. So the first is either a will or living trust with a guardianship provision if you have minor children. Then what's called a living will or a health care directive is another term for that. And then durable powers of attorney for healthcare and finances. And then finally, third is to make sure that you have a digital estate plan to take care of your digital and online presence. This can be everything from personal social media accounts and emails to your business website, to logins for your bank accounts and for your property management software. So estate planning, big chewy topic, lots and going on there. And make sure that this is something that you include in your financial plan going forward. If you've got any questions about this or anything else you'd like tackled on this video series, just leave me a note in the comments and we'll get to it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.